For the best detector performance, make sure to ground balance your AT Max in each new detecting environment. The AT Max can be ground balanced either automatically or manually to cancel unwanted ground signals and to obtain maximum stability and target detection. With 175 points of high resolution ground balance, the AT Max is fully able to adjust to both conductive soil, such as saltwater beaches, and to highly mineralized ground. Always locate an area of soil free of metal before attempting to ground balance the detector. Press and hold the shift button while continually bouncing or pumping the search coil from 1 to 8 inches, 2 to 20 centimeters, above the ground. When there is minimal audio response from the ground, release the button and begin hunting. If the AT Max's ground balance setting does not change during this automatic ground balancing process, the detector is either sufficiently ground balanced already, or the current ground contains such neutral mineralization that the settings will not change. Your ground balance setting can also be adjusted in single step increments by using manual ground balance. Some users might prefer to ground balance slightly positive to enhance detection of small targets. Others may choose to balance slightly negative to reduce detection of hot rocks, terracotta, and salt water. Press the shift button and continually pump the coil from 1 to 8 inches, 2 to 20 centimeters, above the ground. Use the plus and minus manual ground balance buttons to adjust the ground balance setting to your desired level. The AT Max also includes a Garrett exclusive feature, automated ground balance window. This process, which takes place automatically during the ground balance operation, effectively spreads the range of your ground balance value to help overcome localized variations in ground minerals. This feature smooths out the detector audio by reducing subtle ground responses that might prevent you from hearing faint targets. If you're hunting in areas with severe shifts in ground mineralization levels, here's an alternative ground balance technique you might want to try. Traditionally, you would you know, hold down the button and ground balance the machine by bobbing it up and down above the ground. This will balance you to that spot. But if you want to balance to a range of areas there, hold down the shift button and swing the coil side to side just above the ground you know, at the height where you're going to hunt. That's going to give you a range of ground balance and, and force that ground balance window to spread. In this case, you see that it spread to the maximum of 99. This side swing ground balance technique may give you an improved ability to hear targets in areas where the ground mineralization levels are shifting rapidly. Accurate pinpointing helps you to dig smaller holes and to recover your targets faster. To demonstrate the use of the AT Max's pinpoint button, I'm going to take a coin and put it in this hole right here that I've dug, and we'll fill it in. And I'll mark the spot uh, where the coin is with this little colored chip. When you find a target in the field, position the search coil to the side of the target's suspected location to avoid tuning out your target as you go into pinpoint mode. Press and hold the pinpoint button, and then slowly sweep the search coil over the target area. Be sure to hold the search coil level and at a constant height, just slightly above the ground. Sweep the coil side to side and front to back in a crosshair pattern to locate the peak signal, which is indicated by the loudest audio and the greatest number of segments on the upper scale. Several other pinpointing techniques are discussed in your AT Max user's manual. You should conduct bench tests to become more familiar with the operation of your AT Max, both in the all metal mode and in discrimination modes. To do so, you'll want to have some test targets such as an iron nail or a piece of iron trash, some coins, and a bottle cap. Place the search coil on a flat, non-metallic surface that is several feet away from any metallic objects. Begin your testing in the all-metal mode, passing each test item individually across the search coil at a distance of about 3 to 4 inches or 8 to 10 centimeters. Observe the target ID for each test item.
Next, select the zero mode and pass the same targets across the search coil. Notice the different tones. Use both large and small test pieces at varying distances from the search coil to observe the proportional levels of their responses. Use an iron item, such as a small nail or this steel plug, as a test piece to help learn how to set your iron discrimination levels. Pass your iron target across the coil with different orientations to learn how target IDs for iron items can vary based on the target's orientation. Then increase your iron discrimination setting until the test item no longer creates an audible response. Using the same iron test target that you've now discriminated, Turn on the iron audio function to hear how discriminated iron is reported. Flat iron objects such as bottle caps or steel washers can often sound like good coin targets. Using your bottle cap target, remove any iron discrimination from your settings and test the cap in both all metal and in one of your discrim modes. While in the all metal mode, switch on the iron audio feature and set your iron disc to 35. Pass the cap back across the coil and note the difference of a low, medium, low response, indicating iron content in the target. Test the same cap in your zero mode with the iron disc set to 35. Record the results of your bench tests and refer to them as you need when you're in the field. While hunting, keep your search coil close to the soil at all times and swing it very level for the best results. Walk slowly in a straight line, swinging the coil side to side at a rate of about two to five feet per second. In order to fully cover a search area, fully overlap the coil by half its length as you move forward. The AT Max's stock search coil is a DD configuration coil which allows for easy separation of adjacent targets. Use narrow swings to isolate good targets from nearby trash. This detector is designed for use in both salt water and fresh water. The AT Max can be used wirelessly to hunt streams or shallow water. As a Garrett all-terrain detector, the AT Max can be fully submerged to 10 feet or 3 meters. But if you're going to fully submerge the unit, make sure you're using optional hardwired fully submersible headphones like these. Saltwater environments are challenging for continuous wave or single frequency metal detectors, so proper ground balance is required for stable operation. Ground balance the AT Max as your environment changes. This means as you move from the dry sand beach to an area where the sand is heavily saturated by salt water, you must ground balance again. If you move from the wet salt sand out into the water, this is a new environment where you must ground balance again for best results. Salt water is conductive and produces signals similar to foil. First, ground balance the detector to the area that will be hunted. Saltwater beaches typically ground balance between zero and 20. If necessary, reduce the sensitivity until the signals become stable.
swing the search coil flat and at a constant height. The detector will be less stable in shallow, breaking surf where the search coil is in and out of the salt water. In this area, the environment is constantly changing, making it difficult for the detector to stabilize. If necessary to improve stability, you can negatively bias the ground balance by several points. Simply press shift and then use the manual ground balance minus button to manually reduce the ground balance setting. Introduce only as much negative bias as is needed to achieve stable operation. If necessary, notch out the first pixel under foil. It is important to note that by notching out this pixel, detection of some small jewelry items will be reduced. Remember to use hardwired, fully waterproof headphones if you plan to fully submerge your AT Max. Upon completing any water hunting, it is recommended to disassemble your detector and rinse the stems, control housing, and surge coil with fresh water or a damp cloth to remove any sand or salt water. Salt water and even freshwater sediment can inhibit the easy operation of the stems and cam locks. The AT Max's LCD gives a continual indication of the remaining battery life. This battery level indicator displays four illuminated bars when the detector is operating with fresh or fully charged batteries. The AT Max will remain fully functional with no decrease in detection depth until the batteries need to be replaced. When the battery level indicator is down to one bar, it's time to replace the batteries or recharge them. Replacement batteries should be AA size. Use either alkaline batteries or nickel metal hydride rechargeables. Expect up to 20 hours of operation depending upon the type of batteries used and their quality. 1.5 volt lithium batteries can also be used, but 3.7 volt lithium batteries will damage the detector and should not be used. Access and replace the batteries by rotating the battery cover housing one quarter turn counterclockwise. Pull and remove the cap to slide the battery holder out. Remove the batteries when the detector will be stored more than 30 days. Avoid extreme temperatures, such as storing detectors in a car trunk during the summer or in sub-freezing weather. Recharge your MS3 headphones by plugging the supplied charging cable into any standard USB port. The headphones will completely recharge in about five hours. Periodically disassemble your detector and clean the stems, control housing, and surge coil with a damp cloth. Expand your search options with one of these AT Series accessory search coils. This small Super Sniper coil and this 5x8 DD coil are ideal for searching in tight areas and in separating numerous adjacent targets in trashier hunt sites. Larger concentric search coils provide the greatest detection depth and the largest possible detection fields. The Garrett Pro Pointer 2 is highly recommended for all detectorists to speed their recovery of detected targets, to dig smaller recovery holes, and to identify multiple targets in close proximity. The Pro Pointer AT can even be used underwater to a maximum 10 foot depth. To learn more about your AT Max detector and to see the latest Garrett accessories, be sure to visit Garrett.com.